everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Nokia Lumia 1520. This is Nokia's entry into the phablet market with a 6 inch device that's sporting a 1920 by 1080 resolution display. So during this video I'm going to be unboxing the device, also giving you a tour around the various controls, running through the rest of the specifications and also giving you a first look at this turned on. So when we open up the box, we're presented with the Lumia 1520. It's available in various colors. You can see I've got the white version here. Let's just set that to one side. Here we've got a SIM removal tool. And then we've also got some paperwork inside this little folder here. It's purely a welcome guide to the Lumia 1520. Everything you're gonna to need to know to get you up and running. And then in the bottom section of the box, we have got a charging cable. And this is a micro USB to full size USB. Next up, we've got a white wall charger. So we're in the UK, so we've got a three pin UK plug with the USB connection on this side. And then last but not least, we have got the earphones, three and a half millimeter audio jack, fairly decent sort of comfortable silicon ear tips. We've got some different size silicon ear tips and an inbuilt remote control and microphone. So now let's take a closer look at the Lumia 1520. So let's remove this seal. And it's really nice to actually see that this is a matte white finish rather than it being a glossy finish. So that's not gonna show as many fingerprints as the gloss versions of the Lumia range of mobile phones. We've also got on the back here a PureView Zeiss camera really nice optics we've got a flash alongside and this is sporting a 20 megapixel sensor it's also capable of capturing full hd video now you can see here just on the side we've got a little plastic tab that's showing us where the sim card goes let's just remove that so this is the sim tray this is going to hold your sim card and we we'll pop that back into the lumia 1520 and then we've also got just above here another tray let's just eject that and we'll see what's in there i'm pretty sure that that is going to be probably a memory card slot so let's take a look so this looks like a micro sd card slot so we can in fact expand the memory on the 1520. a little bit tricky to get back in you can also see the phone has actually started booting up so let's just complete that we we'll say get started and we'll close the warnings, accept, and go for the recommended settings. It's also going to ask us to connect to Wi-Fi. So we'll connect to my Wi-Fi network. So having connected to the Wi-Fi, it's just installing some of the apps. So while it's doing that, let's take a look around the rest of the device. So we move back around to the back for this. And we can see here at the bottom of the back, we've got one of the speakers really nice size speaker grill and in reviews i've seen already they've said that this actually produces really nice sound so i'm really keen to see how this performs just underneath this we've got a micro usb connector for charging the device and then round on this side we've got the power on off button we've also got the volume rocker and these are only just visible on the side of the 1520 so really nicely designed and then just up here We've also got a three and a half millimeter audio jack. And then these little pinholes here are what's probably hiding the microphone. Also of note, that something I didn't tell you a little bit earlier, is this is in fact a dual LED flash. It should do a really nice job of actually uh, illuminating subjects when we're in dimly lit conditions. So we go back round to the front and it's still installing some of the apps. And that gives me a chance to just run through some of the other specifications. This is a clear black IPS LCD display with a 1920 by 1080 resolution. The actual talk time you can expect from this is up to 27 hours on 2G, 25 hours on 3G, and up to 124 hours of music playback. Under the hood, we've got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor. It's a quad-core processor running at 2.2 gigahertz. So here we go, we can now see the beautiful six inch display populated with all of these live tiles. And the fact that it's six inch, it really does give a lot more room uh, for all of these live tiles to populate with the information that we want. Now, since I actually reviewed my last Windows phone device, 
the App Store has improved a great deal again. There are some more popular apps, including Instagram, now available for the platform. So during my testing procedure with this, I will be taking a look at Instagram, as well as some of the other popular apps that have become available. Now, I just want to show you one more thing. You saw me swipe to the uh, left earlier uh, to change the brightness. Well, this is where you can actually gain access to everything that's installed on the 1520, all of the applications, and it's just really nicely laid out. But I am already finding, if I just try, I can't swipe that way again, I am finding it quite difficult to actually reach from, there we go, from one side to another. It is possible to do it, but it's very hard to reach the top and not drop the device. So it's quite a tricky device to handle one-handed. So we're gonna see how that plays out during my uh, review time with this as well. So that's it for this video. Big thank you to Nokia for sending me this out to review. This has been my unboxing and first look at the Nokia Lumia 1520 with that massive 20 megapixel camera on the back and the gigantic six inch IPS LCD display. Thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one. Well, thank you very much for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. You'll see a couple of annotations on your screen now. If you click the top box, that will take you to another one of my awesome videos. And if you click the bottom box, that will subscribe you to the Geek and Noise channel. Please do click them both. I don't want you missing out on any of my future videos. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all next time.